What's up fellas, Nordoom here, playing some Cards and Castles. So this is going to be a deck revamp video for my Infinity Strike deck. So first things first, there have actually been another update. So uh, additional cards have been changed. And I'm not too sure what to make of some of them. Some of them seemed a little random. Like for example, One-Eyed Manny, he's now a 4-8 instead of a 5-5. Five -five. I guess some people might have gave suggestion that he doesn't have good survivability with only uh, 5 health. But, I don't know, I didn't see a problem with him being a 5-5 five -five before. But, whatever, we'll see. I um, think I'm going to keep him in for now. Um, he's not too bad, and at 4-8, he might even be even better. We'll see about that. Shodan, he just got dropped down to 6. I was actually considering cutting him. He's not a bad card either, but... I don't know, not super fantastic as well. His stats aren't bad, but now at 5 gold instead of 6, he seems a little sweeter. Um, probably have to compare him to the other 5 drops, see how he plays out, but he's definitely going to stay in for now. Anyways, I'm not going to go through all of the changes. That's not what this video is about. We're looking at this deck, so first things first. Let's see what we're going to take out and some of our cards from last time. So you put in Magic Cutlass. This is, was a cantrip card mainly. I'm going to leave it in for now because nothing wrong with having cantrip. I think also I'm going to play this card more often uh, because why not? Draw the card, cycle through the deck faster. I'm going to get rid of Spirit Blast first. Um, Spirit Blast is okay card, but... I don't think it might quite fit what I'm trying to do here. Spirit Blast, I think, is more of an all-in card. But I need a card that I can, if I draw it in the middle of the game, I can play it. And Spirit Blast, I can't really play in the middle because I have to discard a card. And I hate discarding cards unless if it's going to do something awesome. So Spirit Blast for me, with only 5 damage, is not really necessarily doing something awesome. I'm basically playing 2 cards to get rid of 1 card if I use it to take out my opponent's unit. So instead, uh, I see it as a finisher, where I'm dealing, playing two cards to deal five damage to the castle. And sometimes that five damage will help me, help me win the game. So that's one card that's coming out. Um, another card I've been thinking about is Phantom Strike. So Phantom Strike is actually pretty good. I like this card a lot. However, it might not be giving me as much advantage in play as I'm thinking. Um, so this card... If you use it in mid-game, it's like a removal spell, right? If I'm using it to kill a unit. But it has two prerequisites. One is, uh, well, one prerequisite. I need to have a unit in play to play this on. And second thing is, that unit, if that unit's attacking another unit to kill that unit, that means whatever unit I played it on is missing out on its attack that turn to effectively kill another unit. However, so what does that mean? Well, what if this was like a direct removal spell? Now, if I play the spell to directly kill another unit, then my unit that I would have played Phantom Strike on gets to still attack something else. So, it's almost as if I'm losing out on a tempo because my unit doesn't get to attack that turn because it used its turn to play Phantom Strike to kill another unit. So yeah, sounds a little confusing. Still a good card though, because it deals 2 damage. If it didn't have this 2 damage, I don't know if I would play this card, but it has 2 damage. And... At times, it has been a good finisher for me to be able to hit the castle when I might not be able to or to get into two extra damage, which is awesome. But I am going to keep this on a short list. Maybe I might only play one Phantom Strike at the end of the day. But right now, I'm going to leave it, most likely. Bombardment. Uh, I've enjoyed playing this card. I'm still not sure if it's worth a deck slot, but so far it's staying in. Eternity Strike is great damage, but... That prerequisite of focus where I need to have a unit next to something to play it, uh, that can be a little tough. So I'm going to just kind of keep that in mind. Dark Spirit I think is awesome now. Um, tag Team is cool, but Tag Team requires for me to have... Well, I do have plenty of units on board, and it's good to reset uh, my Sniper, which is good. But it's 6 gold to play. And you guys are like, 6 gold? It's not a big deal, but... I know it's not a big deal, but look at this. Shodan was the only 6 gold that you and I previously have. And now nothing in the deck costs 6 gold. So, I don't know. I, I guess it's just me in my soul. 
I'm like six gold, six gold's too much. I want combos that I'll, I can play for like two gold or three gold and win the game. So I might be asking for too much. So because I know I might be asking for too much, tag team is going to stay in. But uh, there's that other card. What was it? Replacement technique? Yes, replacement technique, which is zero. But I don't get the two extra damage. <coughs> Maybe consider playing this card later. We'll see. Okay, so there are a few cards I want to put in. And uh, some cards I want to swap. I'm not 100% sure what I'm doing. So let's just go through this and see where we end up. Uh, enough talking so we can deliberate. Okay, first thing is I'm going to add in Slice and Dice. So I was considering this instead of Spirit Blast. Because uh, let's say I hit the castle with a Sea Witch. Now this card deals 1 damage to target three times if you can hit the castle then that'll be six damage instead of three damage if i tag it with a sea witch and if i tag it with a maddie then that's gonna be nine damage so that might be pretty awesome i don't know if that'll work or not but i'm gonna put that in because basically two gold for six damage in this deck not in all decks and uh like i said um what was that other card spirit blast was two gold for five damage plus i need to discard a card other card I'm just going to comment on right now is uh, this card. Combustible Poison. There's a chance this might come in. I don't think I'm going to put it in right now. Because one, it's a cantrip, which is awesome. But two, it has that exposed weakness. So if I find that uh, Slice and Dice is hitting the castle and is working out in an awesome way, then I might consider putting in Combustible Poison to get even more out of Slice and Dice. But we'll leave it like that for now. Okay, uh, I'm going to cut Vileroth for now. Uh, I mentioned in videos he's a good card, but he just has not been doing much for me in this build. So some other cards I'm considering. I'm considering a lot of cards, and I'm not sure what I'm cutting. I'm considering Kunai because there are more ranged units if I, if, uh, with high attack and low health, particularly the Warlock units. But there's also like wizard and stuff like that. So kunai might give me good value in board control and uh, might be a good card. I'm not going to put it in right now. But this is a card I'm considering for the future. Another card I'm considering for the future is uh, I might consider putting throne back in. Because now throne is only one gold after uh, the update like a week ago. Um... There's this card too, Guild of Scoundrels. I don't think I'm going to put it in, but it's just, I just, I need to play it at some point to see if it's working out for me or not. And I don't know what the hell this new symbol is, but you guys can see it, right? There's some symbol on this card now. Damn, can't, in, uh, I thought holding it down would enlarge it. But yeah. That's there, and I'm considering training grounds. I still don't think training grounds will be in here, but I might put in some of these cards just to test them out. So then I definitely know if they're good or not. Um, that's kind of like what I'm doing with bombardment, and right now I'm doing that with slice and dice. Okay, so did I just add in something? I just took out that dragon. I added in a construct. What construct did I add in? Uh, okay, added in guild of scoundrels by accident. Okay, yeah. Um, now, this card, Fortress of the Red Tide, I think I'm going to play it. Uh, they gave it Teleport, which is okay. I'm not a big fan of Teleport. In fact, I actually dislike Teleport a lot. I feel like it's just not as good as movement speed. And I hate that they're giving more units Teleport as a way of buffing it. When I just, I think that's stupid. I don't think it's a buff at all. Uh, give it two movement or something, and or three movement. Uh, three movement is way better than teleport. Uh, having charge three is way, way, way better than teleport. You can just get to more areas of the board in a better way. So yeah, I'm not a big fan of teleport. However, this guy, I think they also removed um, that precursor that he can't attack in the same turn that he's played. So if they actually did remove that, that's pretty good. So... Even though he has teleport, which I hate, uh, might be good. And then now I can possibly eternity strike the same turn the fortress comes into play because I can put it next to something and eternity strike. So that's awesome. Um, and then even just getting on the board for three gold 
I mean, uh, three attack and uh, being able to play final strike or something, then that could be useful. So I'm not getting to, uh, not going to discount it just yet. That's where we are. So I have 16 units. Um, another card I'm considering, uh, well, I'm not concerned. I am going to put it back in right now is Wotan. Wotan might be good now. Wotan, I don't know if he's going to be a game breaker, but he could be awesome. Possibly fun, at least. Um, so now, when he comes into play, if he dies, he comes back to your hand. So he's one gold cheaper, which is good. If you that that's the main reason why I'm gonna play him. Let's say if he was five gold or something, I probably would not even play him still. But he's three gold. So the way I'm thinking about him is, let's say I have a skeleton in play. I'm up close to the castle. I will tend the skeleton. So I just lost three gold, and I lost my skeleton. But now instead of a 2-6, I have a 7-6. So I gave him plus 5 damage, which was just like before. It's exactly how it worked before. But now, he'll come back to my hand. So basically, for paying 3 gold whenever I have the extra 3 gold, or I won't lose too big of a tempo, because that's that's a huge thing. I'm going to lose tempo by playing him. Because let's say I have Skeleton on the board, I have Wotan in my hand, and also I have Witch Doctor in my hand. If I play Witch Doctor, now I have 2 units. If I play Wotan, uh, no. Sorry about that. I will play you later, Monkass, but I'm making a video right now. So if I play Wotan, then that skeleton becomes a 7-6, but I only have one unit on the board. Um, they should have still gave him a stealth thing, because why the hell not? But whatever. Um, so if you use Wotan too often, basically you don't have much board presence. However, pay, it's basically pay 3 gold, give most units or many units plus five attack and then once he dies you can do it again and again and again so it's not too bad um good thing hopefully the good thing is actually if they had one stealth that would be awesome because then that means you need to melee him to kill him but they removed that that might have actually been a little op if he still had stealth now that i think about it because what i'm hoping is Boten will help me trade up because let's say I play him on a skeleton, he's a 7-6. My opponent is forced to attack with a melee unit. Let's say he doesn't have any spells or ranged. Then my Wotan killed that card also. And uh, and let's say I didn't have Wotan on, and I just had the 2-6 skeleton, and he attacks my 2-6 skeleton, then my opponent might not die. He just might deal damage to the skeleton. Anyways, that's the theory. That's the idea. Is it going to work? I don't know. But right now... I have to figure out what I'm going to cut for Wotan. And I think I wanted to also put back in Tranquility into this deck because I wanted to bounce the Sniper even more. I don't know if... Because one game I remember had two Snipers in my hand. Uh, two Snipers on the board and I just didn't have any spells to play. But the spells that I did have in my hand were uh, Spare Blast, so... Yes, so right now, I'm definitely putting in Wotan. And if I can figure out what I want to cut, I want to put in Tranquility as well. I'm also thinking about putting in some uh, beefier guys, like maybe Dancing Swords, because when he triggers, that'll be a 7-4. I don't know why they still don't have his Awakened ability on the card. Come on, that's such a simple fix, at least in my mind. I don't know how much it actually takes to fix that. But uh, yeah. And I'm considering putting in like Sentry Golem because he's just a house at five gold. If he lives, he's seven eight. Um, considering that, but Sentry Golem doesn't really t uh, combo well with cards like Tag Team, so we'll see. Not a hundred percent sure about that. And I'm also considering Swordsman because I don't have any late game units, and so I was considering that to be more late game units. Uh, one card I'm thinking about cutting is Witch Doctor. In fact, maybe I should just cut Witch Doctor right now. Now, I don't want to cut him right now because I have 16 units in my deck. And uh, with a card like Wotan, I'm going to want to have a surplus of units or a good amount of units. Because they're all going to be sacrificed to Wotan. Okay, so I don't know what I'm doing. Don't know what's going on. Let's just look at the spells one by one. Phantom Strike, considering cutting, so I might cut one. 
selection dice, I'm going to leave two because I want to draw it often. Tag team, I'm going to leave two. But in fact, tag team might be the card I cut. I might cut one tag team or one phantom strike. Bombard, I'm going to leave it for now because I need to see how it plays out. Eternity Strike, I still think it's good enough to warrant uh, two slots for. Uh, Final Strike is there. No, Final Strike has always been good for me. There's no need to cut that. Okay. So it's Tag Team or Phantom Strike. Which should I cut for all time? Tag Team or Phantom Strike? Tag Team or Phantom Strike? Okay, the tag teams have been good for resetting snipers, so I'm going to cut Warrant Phantom Strike for now. And this is version 3 of the deck. So version 1 had uh, some junk in here, so I think I went 6-4 as the record. Version 2 went 9-1, but that's also partially because I faced like a lot of a good amount of noobs, I feel. But the deck definitely was functioning more optimally than what I recollect. Uh, right now, I'm going to check out the new cards that I just added in. Wotan, gonna keep my eye on Maddie. Shodan might be awesome now. Um, and actually, Shodan with Wotan on him, just slightly better. See, I wouldn't play Wotan on the weaker stuff because he gives him big damage boost. If I play Wotan on Shodan, he only gives it plus two. And if he doesn't have that stealth anymore, so whatever he plays on, it's gonna have a greater chance of dying. Um. Yes, so I'm keeping my eye on Slice and Dice, keeping my eye on Fortress, keeping my eye on Wotan, because I just had all those cards in, keeping my eye on Maddie and Shodan, because they've been changed. And i um, going to also keep an eye out on Phantom Strike, seeing if I'm missing this one card that I added in or not. And uh, also going to think, what card can I replace for Tranquility? Uh, I'm going to think about Throne if it'll help me at any point, and I'm going to think about what else does I want to think about? Oh, I'm still going to think about Lunge. Um, yeah, and uh, also what's the other card? Where is it? Where is it? Uh, Kunai. So these are a couple cards I'm going to think about. And you guys are probably like, what the hell are you doing, man? You're overthinking this. That's what I do, guys. I overthink everything. And that's why I like playing games like this, because it makes me think a lot. And yeah, I will see you guys in the next video.